Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. Today I want to cover some fretting hand techniques that I wish I would have known when I was starting out. It would have made things a lot easier and less frustration. So let's dig into it. Coming up. And before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone that has subscribed and gets the newsletter each week from the Guitar Essential blog. Thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and check out the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe for more guitar tips and tricks. And over at yourguitarguide.com, subscribe and become a part of the community over there. You'll get tips that I only send out each week in the newsletter. One more thing while you're over there check out the recommended gear that's been tested and tried from yours truly. So that's enough talk let's zoom in and check out fretting hand techniques. So when you're playing your guitar if I was picking it up I would pick it up like this. So yeah there's no room in between the strings and your fingers. That way you're not going to drop your guitar. But when you're playing the guitar, oops, there goes the water. When you're playing your guitar, you're not holding it like that. You need to have it relaxed and keep your thumb down so that it leaves room in between the strings right here. That way you're not going to be touching all the strings when you're trying to make chords. So let's make a C chord. If we don't keep our thumb down on the C chord, this is what it would sound like. Because we haven't left room between our fingers and the fretboard. When we leave room by keeping our thumb down, that if your thumb's up top, notice how you can't help it is the mechanics of your hand. If that's thumbs up high, your fingers are going to be against the strings. So leave your thumb down low. And the next thing is you want to play on the tips of your fingers. Notice that the ends of my fingers are curled. This helps with playing on the tips of your fingers. This first knuckle is curled down. These are the frets, fret wires, and between each fret wire, like this is your first fret, your second, third. See so yeah, how there's room? The next thing is you want to play right here on the tips of your fingers. And at the back side of this fret, you want to place close to the fret without being on top of it. So yeah, there's a problem if you're on top of the fret. You want to be behind it. If you're too far away, see so yeah, how there's buzzing. So you want to get your fingers right up to the back of the fret. Another thing is by keeping your elbow in that's going to make a difference. If your elbow's out, see how your C chord is? You can't really play it that good. Keep your elbow in, your thumb down. So when we say playing on the tips of our fingers, it's not right here. If you play like that, flat, it's not going to work. You have to play right on the tips. When you're making a chord, let's go with the G chord. What you need to do is the fingers in position for the G chord and 
you need to think to yourself, okay, the first thing is, I want to be playing on the tips of my fingers. But right behind the fret, doing that, yep. I'm playing on the tips, I'm behind the fret. My thumb is down low. That's giving me space in between here. Then when you play the chord, after your fingers are set up, you want to play the chord. Make sure the sixth string rings out, fifth string, four, three, two, one. So the chord is nice sound and it's good. Now when you're playing a bar chord, it's a little bit different. Part of your fingers still need to be on the tips. Check out this video right here to learn how to play the F bar chord and once you get all the tips on that, all the bar chords are basically the same. Let's try C. I'm on the tips of my fingers right behind the fret. And it all rings out good. But let's say I'm doing something wrong, like maybe I'm not playing on the tips of my fingers. What's going to happen? Oh, this finger here is not on the tip, it's on the side. So what it's doing is now it's hitting actually the fourth string. So what you need to do is figure out what the problem is, which the problem is it's not on the tip. So make the adjustment. Once you make the adjustment, the chord's ringing out properly. Take the chord chart over at yourguitarguide.com. I'll leave the link for that in the descriptions. And get that and practice these chords. Just like that. Look at it and concentrate. Go slow. I want to keep my thumb down. I want to play directly behind the frets. And my elbow is in. It's play it one string at a time. If something is not sounding properly, take a look and figure out why. Make the adjustment and continue on. First position chords over at yourguitarguide.com and that will help you with any questions you have on the finger positions of the chords. If you've liked this video, can you give me a thumbs up? And also, check out the guitar lessons over at yourguitarguide.com. There might be something in there you'll be interested in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.